Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name is Rodney Dupree and today we got a really good show for y'all. We're out in Gonzales and it's the Christmas Parade, y'all. It's the JFA Jambalaya Festival Christmas Parade. Been going on for years and years. And helping me today is Todd Long. How's it going? It's going great, man. How you doing? Doing good, bro. We're going to have a good time today. Oh yeah, we're going to have a good time, man. But you know it's JFA, Jambalaya Festival Association, Christmas Parade. So what does that mean? Probably going to be a little confusion. Hey. little confusion somewhere along the lines, but it's a hometown parade, hometown hero. A hero's Christmas is the theme. So a hero's Christmas. A hero's Christmas. That's what it's all about, man. It's all about, you know, giving back and, and doing what you got to do. And a hero could be anybody. You know, it could be somebody in the military. could be a policeman. could be, you know, just somebody like James LeBlanc who's always giving back to the community. But one of the floats, I think they said that the people, the, um, the lady's brother-in-law has leukemia. Yeah, that's their hero. So that's who they're, you know, they're supporting. So it could be anybody. So it's a great theme, a hero's Christmas. You might be somebody's hero, Rodney. You never know. You never know. You never know for somebody else. But today for the parade, we have sponsors. And uh, to make this brought to y'all, to bring everything out to y'all, we got sponsors. And I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to let Todd talk to y'all about our sponsors for today. All right. Well, thank you. Well, we got Miss Kim Landry, attorney at law. Uh, you can get in touch with her. She's a great, great attorney. Hopefully you never need one, but if you do, she'll be there for you. Next is my cousins at Martine G4 Trucking. They can haul heavy equipment, dirt, sand, anything you need. Give them a call. Um, Brady Martine with Martine G4. Next is our friend. James E. LeBlanc, the constable, uh, also LeBlanc's auto title. Mr. James LeBlanc is the grand marshal of the parade. We're gonna, hopefully we get a chance to talk to him. And then we got our good friends at Preferred Loans, Miss Shanna Babin uh, with Preferred Loans. Um, you know, if you need any Christmas loans or anything, they could be there for you. So that's our four sponsors, Rodney. Hey, we're going to have a good time today. It's all about the people. It's all about Gonzalez. It's all about the jambalaya. Yeah. Oh, so y'all hang on. Cajun Living Cooking's fixing to start right about now. Tide line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like the dead long ago. So join the fun. Trap line sitting on a pipeline waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens. That's how we live, and it sure feels fine. I'm standing here with the director of the JFA Christmas Parade, Miss Brigitte Roulette. How's it going? It's going good. Um, it's not super crazy yet, so it's pretty good. So last year was the first year that the parade went up Corner View and turned on Burnside. How'd that work out? Um, actually, I think it was confusing, but I think as people get used to it, they'll like it better. I like this route better because there's more parking and there's more place to stand. Whereas when you were running through town, you had a building upside on the side of the sidewalk and you were limited. This way, you're not so limited and... You, there's more room to park and more room to stand on the side of the road so you can have more people. Well, good. Well, that ought to make it make it a good deal. So how many years has the Jambalaya Festival done this? Oh, Lord. I think we took this over uh, 10 years or so ago. Okay. The Chamber didn't want to do it anymore, and they put it up for bids, and the Jambalaya Festival, I think, was one of the only ones who said, hey, look at us. We might do it. And it's been, y'all been, it's been successful since, huh? It has been successful since. Uh, this year we have a few less floats. I, I really don't know why that is. Um, but we have some new floats that we have new participants who've never done it. So if I can get the ones back and keep the one, the new ones, we'll be even bigger next year. Well, good deal. Ronnie, you got any questions? I do. I think we have uh, 52 floats. And, uh, well, we have 61 entries. We have 61 entries. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, we've got Jeep. We've got, we're going we're gonna to offer a car club price next year. So that's we we'll, we'll have more entries next year cuz we'll have a car club price. If you're in a car club, you'll pay this amount versus the amount that individuals, regular individuals. And it's a hero Christmas. Uh, yeah. Is that right? 
a hero Christmas. And I even saw somebody down there with Jesus as your hero, which, uh, which that's is great. awesome. That, that's who's the biggest hero, but Jesus. Okay. Yeah. So the hero Christmas, now Jesus, it could be military. It could be firefighters. It could be a superhero. Uh, we even have somebody that her brother is suffering from leukemia and he's their hero for their float. So a hero is a broad, broad, broad choice. So you have a lot you could choose from with hero. Well, good deal. I like that Jesus is the hero because Christmas is the birth of Jesus. So exactly. Jesus is the reason for the season. So, yes, all right. Well, you got any other thing you want to say? Or? No, uh, we, we're going to go talk to some Jambalaya guys now. All right. Well, thank you, Brigitte. We really okay. appreciate it. Always a pleasure. And y'all come right. on out. If you don't come this year, make sure you come next year. All right. All right, y'all. It's before the parade, and here we are with Santa Maul's softball state champions right here. Now, uh, y'all won state. Uh, 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 what are y'all going to do next after you've won state? Are, are, are y'all all back together again? Or? Yeah, we're going to try again. We're going to go for the two-peat, duh. <laughs> <laughs> two-peat, huh? So everybody came again. Y'all lost a few seniors or what? Just three of them. Lost three seniors. Oh, that's, wow, that's, that's pretty good. Y'all ought to be a, a ease in to win. Yeah, yeah. Y'all already, yeah. already good to go. Uh, so, uh, can y'all beat EA? Yeah. Can y'all can y'all beat Dutchtown? Yeah. They can be state champions again, right here, y'all. All right, we're with the Jumalai Queen. What's your name? My name is Tara Babin. That's it. So this is the first. You were the Cotton Queen or in, in Ville Platte. Yes, sir. And now you're the. So you're from here. So now you're the Gonzalez. Yes. Festival yes. It's awesome to be from my hometown. Well, great. So you're going to be ready to ride in the parade. And then, uh, so this is a big weekend, but next weekend is even bigger, right? Mm hmm Graduating college. Congratulations. Yes, sir. I'm graduating. Man. I bet your daddy's going to be happy. Yeah. <laughs> What's your degree? Kinesiology. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. Don't let me spell that. Yeah. What <laughs> it, so what is that? That's uh. It's like anatomy and physiology, stuff like that. I was trying to go to um, occupational therapy school, but I think I'm actually going to go back for nursing now. Oh, well, good. Well, my daughter graduates next Saturday in nursing from Fran U, so congratulations. Thank you so much. I know your daddy got to be happy because I'm happy <laughs> my oldest one's graduating mm -hmm. college. So, uh, well, we'll see you on the route. And uh, me and you, we'll spend a lot of time together during the Jumbo yes, Festival yes. Uh, coming up in May. So, Rodney, you got anything? All I'm going to say is it's a, it's a hero's parade. Yes, and have fun. Thank you so much. That's it. Right. Hey, y'all. We're out here at the Christmas parade. I met some of these girls that will be walking the Christmas parade, and I want to ask them, what's y'all's favorite part about Christmas? Um, my favorite part about Christmas is being able to celebrate with friends and family. Yeah. And the birth of Jesus Christ. Yes. Okay. Presents. <laughs> presents, yes. Thank you very much. All right. I just want to ask, what does the Christmas parade and Christmas in general mean to you? Um... The Christmas Parade is just a great way for Dutchtown and JROTC to come and show our dedication and appreciation towards the community that we live in. And I think Christmas is just a great time to spend time and spread the love with my friends and family. Thank you. Hello, everyone. This is Mallory Langwa, and I'm here at the Jambalaya Festival Organization's Christmas Parade. We're getting ready to roll here on this beautiful day. I have Alexi here with me, and I have a couple, uh, one question for you. It's going to be, what is your most favorite thing about Christmas? My favorite thing about Christmas is our ability to spend time with our families, our community, and it's a great honor to come out and show our dedication to the community. That's a wonderful answer, and that surely is one of the most important things about Christmas. Thank you so much, Alexi. Gramming Unlimited specializes in corporate and small business embroidery on a wide variety of clothing and accessories, like shirts, jackets, hats, bags, and much more. Our screen printing department is perfect for you. A very affordable way to advertise your business, club, team, or event. We also handle business cards, promotional items like pins and huggies, trophies, medals, plaques, banners, and signs. No job is too big or too small. Call or come by today. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp, tailgating, or planning dinner. We make our own cracklings, beef jerky, Okay, cheese and sausage right here in the store. We also process deer and hogs. Junior's Meat Market has an abundance of groceries and frozen items, which include crab cakes, fried oysters, tilapia, and more. We have daily meat specials, and we cook plate lunches every other weekend. 
Stop by Junior's Meat Market today and bring home dinner. The Ultimate Escape Rooms. Now currently located in Gonzales. Call and book your room now. With three rooms to choose from, the fun is never ending. Each room has a different level of difficulty to escape. Whether it's team building, family bonding, or just a group of friends having fun together. Kids 6 and under free, ages 7 to 11, 50% off, and 15% off all service members and immediate family. We are also locally owned and operated. Come see if you can escape. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Well, here I am with Wild Italian over here at the JFA Jumalai Festival, the booth in front of the rec center. How's it going so far? Doing good, man. We're just uh, beautiful weather. Can't beat this. Yeah, it's going to be a warm Christmas parade. We hadn't had one of these in a while. Gilbert wanted hot chocolate today, but I talked him out of it. I hear you. We got nice cold drinks, a hamburger, and jambalaya. So how is this event rank? Um, I know the jambalaya festival is actually the biggest thing that you guys do, but this is probably second biggest, huh? Yeah, man. Uh, we took this over quite a few years ago, and I uh, think the chamber had it, and they wanted to give it up, and nobody else wanted to step up, so I figured... If we could uh, put it on something that I would have loved to have when we was kids, you know, to have a doggone parade, we never had something like this. Right. So I, I'm real pleased to put on this for the kids mainly, you know. Well, look, let me ask you a question. Next year, can we get like a big jambalaya pot float and put the champion in it? That's what we had planned on a long time ago. When I won in 93, I was on a, a regular utility trailer. Right. And and they had the big wicker chairs and all, and me and the queen was riding on the on the trailer. Yeah, we need to get the champ in the parade. So, all right, well, James LeBlanc is your grand marshal. What what can you say about a guy like that, man? He volunteers more than you do. I'm telling you, he's a community-minded rascal, just like I am. You know, I mean, that's what it takes. People step up and do the, do their part, man. How much uh, jambalaya are y'all cooking today? Uh, 60 pounds, about 350, 400 serving. All right. Well, Ronnie, you got any more questions for, uh, you know, it's a hero's Christmas. Wally might be my hero. but I think he's my hero. He, he might not be mine, though. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We're going to go talk to the constable, yeah. our grand marshal, and uh, we're going to check out some of the floats. So, y'all hang on. Well, here I am with the grand marshal of the parade, a hero's Christmas. Tell you, we're blessed. Continue to be blessed in this parish. You know, uh, what a beautiful day today it is, oh, yeah. man. It could, we must have dialed in the weather. <laughs> could, couldn't, <laughs> could, couldn't have picked a more beautiful day here in Ascension, man. What a, what a, what a great day for for the community to get together for a great, great Christmas parade. So a hero's Christmas, and they pick you to be the grand marshal. I, I, that's something you work for your whole life. I would imagine that's something you work for your whole life. How does it feel to to be that? I tell you, I don't. Uh, I don't consider myself a hero, um, but I tell you, we got a lot of we got a lot of heroes in our oh, yeah. parish. You know, when it when when you start talking about the sheriff's office, you start talking about Gonzalez Police Department, you start talking about all the fire departments that we have in our parish. You know, uh, I, I'm I'm blessed to be the one that gets to represent them. I, I'm not. I don't consider myself a hero at all. But I tell you what, our parish is continuously blessed to have heroes. Right. Yes. Very, very blessed. Well, um, so we're standing in front of the Santa Mall Volunteer Fire Department booth. You know a little bit about yeah. Santa Mall <laughs> Fire Department. <laughs> Got to, just, just happen to know those, those, those crew. I tell you, hats off to the, uh, to the members of the Santa Mall and the Fifth Ward Department. They've been working on this float for months, and I tell you what, they really, really went above and beyond this year. Uh, they, uh, they, they've been very blessed over the last couple of years to place first, second, or third in the parade, and for them to, uh, to them, to, to, for what I'm being told today. Yeah, they we took, got a little, we got a little sneak peek for yeah, yeah. But what I need is got the award, yeah. so. Uh, what is it? First place in the first civic place. division? Yes. Yeah. First place, religious and civic. Religious and civic. So, wow. And look, that is nothing but hard, hard work by a bunch of volunteers that have been, you know, not going to bed till 11 or 12 o'clock at night for several weeks to, to, to present this beautiful float to the, to, the, to the people of Ascension Parish. All right, y'all. This is the party before the parade, and we're over here at Ledette's of uh, Todd and Scott. Mr. Lede. Scott Lede's Auto Sales. Great. Um, tell us what y'all got going on today. 
We got a little cooking going on. We got some jambalaya, a lot of finger foods. We got the Saints going on right now. So just passing a good time before the parade starts. This is every year, you know, the parade route they always passed. And then, what, two years ago when they thought they wasn't going to pass, we was we didn't know we were upset or happy. Right. <laughs> but, they, but they put it where, you know, it still turns in front of us. So we um, get all our friends out, customers out. Thank you, everybody, for supporting us all these years. But this is kind of our way of giving back. So This is the moments before. Uh, they're starting to close the road down, and uh, everybody's getting some food. Everybody's getting a couple drinks on maybe. And uh, maybe we'll mingle around and check some of the folks and see what they got oh, to say. They got some characters over here. Let's check it out. All right, man. All right, y'all found a bunch of kids out here, but we're going to get their names. So uh, this is all about the parade. Here we go. Lake and Ledette. Say Baker. Baker. Matt and Richter. Addison Heido. Zoe Zimmerman. Addison Unglide. Ella Unglide. Emily Thompson. London. Thank you. Ledette or Lede, you get a good deal either way. Hey, what you think? How's it good? Oh yeah, it's pretty good. He looks like he's happy. I think so. Think he wants another bite. I think so. Here you go. You want some? Oh, that's a good bite. Yeah. You wouldn't be in Gonzalez if you didn't have Jumalai. Who, who's the cook on this? Uh, Joey Cornett. Oh, yeah. You know that's good. Yeah, job. yeah. Past world champion Joey Cornett. Lucky Sam, please. He wants yeah, more. He wants more. He's eating more. <laughs> Let's see one more, one more bite. Look at there. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's our final moments. They're closing it down. We're fixing to get the parade. Yeah, we're fixing to get the parade. So signing off from Lede's Auto Sales Party, um, Todd Long, Rodney. Here we go. All right. Oh, the parade's fixing to get going. Yeah, man, we got the, looks like the motorcycle cops from Ascension Parish uh, leading the way. So the parade already started. It made its way up corner view. We're on the top of Saks Western Store. Looking at Ladettes across the yeah, street. Looking at Ladets, Ladettes, Ladetta Ladette, Ladette, you get a good deal either way. <laughs> well, that's our first heroes right there. Yeah, yeah. A hero's Christmas. So our heroes are the police, you know, and then look, following them, I don't know if you can see, but turning is our Grand Marshal. Here he comes now. Yep, Mr. James LeBlon. Constable James LeBlon. You know, also with LeBlon's auto title company um you got the car there the lincoln so we got the police right in front of us and we got our lincoln following with the james leblon you know we interviewed james but when you look up the word volunteer in the dictionary there should be a picture of james leblon yeah uh there's there's not much i can say except uh when you look up a picture of a good man that's a good man right yeah. there yeah, always giving his time. He, you know, he works with all the fire departments. He also got a full-time job at one of the plants. He oh wow! At, yeah, I think he wow. works as a safety coordinator. He he but, may uh, not sleep. Yeah, I, that's what I ask him all the time. When do you sleep? But the car, the Lincoln uh, Continental Convertible, is driven by Sharky. Got his wife and his kid in there with him. But uh, that's the same type of car that uh, JFK was in when he got shot. So. We're looking at a good look at our Constable James LeBlanc. There being he is. followed by our Jumalaya Festival Queen, Miss Tara Babin. So uh, Tara Babin is the Jumalaya Festival Queen. Now she'll reign at the at the festival yeah, this she'll, year. She'll reign at the Jumalaya Festival. This will be her festival. So, so next up, we got Miss Tara. And then following her, we got what? who is that? Is that the ROTC? That's the ROTC. Um, what do we call it? Uh, I think you said it was the Dutchtown High Junior yes. ROTC. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Our job is to try to get the parade to your house. You know, if you couldn't make it out here, you better watch it, and uh, hopefully we do a good enough job. And you can come next year and be part of it. Right. That's right. You can definitely come and be a part of it. So after the command center, is that that? What is that following? Is that the hazmat truck? Yeah, that's gonna be the. Uh, that's the 1985 Spartan hazardous equipment truck. Okay. Mr. Bobby Rayburn. Bobby Rayburn's driving that. Yes. 
All right, and then next up, if the fire departments are in order, which I don't think they are, this is the Gonzalez. They're followed by the Gonzalez Fire Department. And uh, that's engine number 12. Engine 12. Followed by ladder truck number 10. Now, engine 12 is that city council and the mayor. Oh, wow. Yeah, I see them up there. Yeah. I see the mayor and some of the city council members. And then the... Uh, um, on ladder 10 is the fire department. Yes, yes. Uh, and they, then they are followed by what looks like the Louisiana fire marshal. There on That's that. That's right. And then uh, next one is Ascension Parish Fire Department, Fire District number three, followed by Sorrento. So uh, that goes all of our uh, fire trucks. That participated in the parade. We got our fire department, Santa Mall, number one in the civic and religious yes, organization. Yes, yes. They won the title. They did. A hero's Christmas. And their thing is not all heroes wear capes. Yeah, so, they uh, they did a good job on that. Yeah, they did. A lot of, uh, lot of time, a lot of effort. Next up is uh, friends at Serve Pro, Miss Brigitte Roulette. With the Jumalot Festival, that's who she works for. Oh wow! Yeah, she works for Serve Pro. They got a that's a big generator. If your house catches on fire, it's kind of ironic they're following the fire department. They take <laughs> care of water damage, anything like that that happens. Here so we go. What we're looking at should be the EA marching band led by the cheerleaders, and um, this is the pride of East Ascension High School, which their stadium is right down the street. Used to pass in front of it, but now we don't. There's 120 members in the band. Wow. Yep. We got the wind, what it looks like, the winds, the drum line, and the flag. But I might be looking at that wrong. I think you're right. Yep. So, yeah, we got the Spartan mascot. So, EA, they had a pretty good football season this year, didn't they? Yeah, they did. I believe they uh, moved into the quarters, maybe. Okay. Um. Uh, beat uh zachary or somewhere i'm not exactly sure but uh i would say they finished in the top 10 for sure yeah well good it's a good group best you're right man that is a big band wow they take up the whole block right here yeah they sure do and if you're just joining in we are from balcony the fire escape at sax western store they, they've been so gracious to let us uh yeah come we, up here and film we'd like to thank them because I, I we, there's no way we'd have a view on the ground uh you look out here at all the people uh right they're not even where they're supposed to be they done moved out in the middle of the right, street yeah they're out in the street so yeah this going this route really uh really made a difference it looks like we're looking at some queens what queens we got there i think that's boucherie boucherie teen queen Followed by the Boucherie Queen. Who's our Boucherie Queens this year? Let's check that out. And they followed by the Boucherie Float. Ray and his uh, Sorrento Lions Club. So good to see the Boucherie back in business, you know? Yeah, Mr. Ray Pardo with uh, right. Sorrento Lions Club. And, uh, and the only award we knew about was... The uh, Santa Maria Volunteer Fire Department went in first place in their award. The Boucherie so, Teen Queen is Miss Alexandra Kling. Alexandra Kling. And, and she then, is followed by the Queen. Which is Miss Gabriel, Gabriel Gotro. Okay. And then they are followed by the Boucherie Festival. And the Rento uh, Lions Club float. And the name of their float is Who is Your Hero? Who is your hero? Who is your hero, Rodney? Uh, I guess growing up... Uh, I guess my dad. Your dad? Yeah. I guess my dad was mine, too. But really, I think mine might have been Roy Rogers. Well, uh, John Wayne might have been <laughs> one of mine also. <laughs> uh, hey. <laughs> so next is Dutchtown, and it looks like making the corner is the Dutchtown 4-H. So, Rodney, what are the 4-H's? Heart, health, happiness? I don't think happiness is one of them. Oh. Maybe, maybe they'll have it explained for us. When you was a kid, did you ever walk in the parade? 
No, I never did. I never did. Uh, I, I didn't live in the city. I live all the way out of, out in the country. So uh, when I was in in well, the seventies, uh, in the country too. But we were in the Cub Scouts. Uh, so we walked the parade. Walked the parade as a Cub Scout. I even walked the parade with my kids when they were. They did something. Oh, so, really? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so this parade's been a part of my life as far as I can remember. I, and it's just an honor to be here and do a halfway decent job of trying to narrate it to the people at home. Well, but I'll the tell you what. the Dutchtown 4-H is out there. And your hero, they got on there family, teachers, military, and they are followed by, looks like one of our sports teams. Dutchtown 4-H. The Dutchtown 4-H is driven by Mr. Chuck Thompson. All right. And their theme is Merry Christmas to our heroes. Oh, wow. And who's next? Look like that's one of the sports teams that says it's game time. Look like the wrecking crew. I'm not exactly they sure. They look like they're having a good time. They though. are. I got to say that. a good time. And they are followed by the, look like Lake Elementary School Band. So let me find that on my list. Yep, the Lake Elementary School Band. I got a niece that's a cheerleader with them. So I see her right now, Miss Madeline Long. All happy cheering. So Lake Elementary School Band. So. And then next. Is I've, our, also, I've also got a, nie- uh, a nephew in that band oh, also. a nephew in that band? I well, do. That's pretty cool. Mr. Cameron James. All right. My sister-in-law is the assistant principal. Over there, Miss Mikey Long. So next up is uh looks like it's Kingpin is the truck. Who's what float is that? I don't know, but they did a fine job putting it together. Wow, yeah. I mean they yeah. A hero's Christmas. So we got the fine folks at Kingpin performance with their uh float. With plenty throws. Got, I'm gonna tell you what, they got throws on there. Yeah, they got a lot. That look like a real real float. Smoothie King. Looks like that's a Smoothie King float. And they should be followed by the Dutchtown Sound Marching Band. See, I got it easy with my list day in order. Oh, yeah. Well, well, my list is uh, (laughs) getting blown away by the wind. (laughs) Yeah, the Dutchtown Sound Marching Band. They won top 10 in showcase, and they were also sixth in the state. So, yeah, Dutchtown Band. So we got our Jeeps. What is that? Uh, the Baton Rouge, the BRJA. Baton, Baton Rouge Area Jeep Association. Wow. All right, they got some nice Jeeps in there. I wonder if they are in order. Well, I would hope so, but we're going to say their names anyway. That's Mr. it. Uh, one of the drivers is Mr. Brian Saltz. Brian Saltz. And then uh, we got Chris Lambert in the 81 CJ5. I would I think that's in order, too. It may, well, I don't think that's an 85 following him, an 81. It was like a newer model Jeep. You know the cars now. You, yeah, you, I know you. a little bit about them. So. <laughs> Next one's uh, Mr. Holly Atuso. Yeah, must be Miss Holly Atuso. Holly Atuso Ford in, Bronco. And a Ford Bronco with a Jeep. Uh, looks like it's got must have Jeep components on it. Driven, yeah, I see it in the back. Driven by James Rawls. Right, so it's all the way in the back. And then we also got Kevin Bumgarner's got a Jeep. Yeah. Louis Camacho. Nicole uh, Jotley, she's in a white Jeep Wrangler. And Stephanie Cowell. So we got a lot of, that's some good-looking Jeeps. But there's that Bronco following them. It's all the way at the end. Now, I think those Jeeps come every year for the parade. They do. And then the one in front of the Bronco must be the 81. It's an older-looking yeah, Jeep. Yeah, yeah. Everything else looks fairly new. But if you're in the market for a Jeep, you can come see me right across the street from where we are at Lede's Auto Got City. the people from Ferrera, um, heavy moving, coming in with their float. They said that they worked. Remember the guy showed us the pictures? He worked on this truck for every day this evening, every day, every afternoon last week, shining up the wheels and shining up the chrome. And I tell you what, that's one good-looking Peterbilt right there. It is. It is. We've seen pictures of him covered in dust. So, uh, yeah. He worked hard, and that's what he said. As clean as he got the truck, he'll probably have to drive through the mud Monday morning, tomorrow morning. So. <laughs> now the driver for it is uh, Mr. Tim Stoner. Tim Stoner, right. And uh, Ferrara delivers Christmas is what they're saying. But uh, 
You know, how about our sponsors, Ronnie? You want to hit them one more time? Yeah, tell them about our sponsors. Constable again. James LeBlanc, LeBlanc's Auto Title, Preferred Loans, Shanna Babin. We also got attorney Kim Landry, and we got Mr. Brady Martin with Martin G4 Trucking. Now, something we didn't say earlier is uh, Monogram Unlimited made our signs Monogram for us. Monogram Unlimited made our signs. That's right. Yep. So we got Ferrara with Merry Christmas, and they should be followed by the Santa Mall Middle School Band, Dance Team, and Cheerleaders. So, and I think they might. Now, I see the Grinch up there. The Grinch is on the Ferrara. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Grinch. There he is. You got to have a little Grinch in every Christmas. That's right, man. Let's see who's coming down there. Might need to get your binoculars. Oh, it's the Cub Scouts. Is that? Like a, it looked like 23, I'm going to tell you. It's what it, it might be Cub Scout Pack 65. Nope. It's got a pack. Uh, they're, 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 uh, their number's a little bit to the side, and I can't read it. But it looks like it's pack 65 with the Cub Scouts. Yes, it that, is. No, they 22. 22, dri yep. driven by Mr. Matthew Robert. Yes, it is. It's called the Avengers theme. Okay. The movie, The Avengers, the, they were heroes, wasn't they, Rodney? I believe so. They were with uh, Spider-Man and them. They're followed by the Gonzalez Middle Band. Oh, it's the Light Church. Oh, yeah. Or the True Light Church. The True Light Church is who it is. So we appreciate True them. Light Worship Center. All right. True Life or Light? Light. True Light Worship Center. Great. Followed True. by the Gonzalez Middle School Band cheer and dance team i know that's got to be an honor to them to you know be in gonzalez and to be able to be here at the parade yeah so. they got some bragging rights when they go back to school that's right that's right oh that looks like mike strong that is that's yep. ascension magazine ascension up there magazine i don't know if it's better to have them numbered or for us to you know number figure four it out and number get four when we do get it right and who's your next float? Uh, Ascension Magazine is the flags of our heroes. First responder logo. All right, looks like Team Automotive out of Baton Rouge. They got Mazda, Mazda, Toyota, and Honda. Yep. Team Automotive. Group. And we'd like to thank them for getting their float together oh, and yeah, coming and out here also. Got some Batman stickers on it. And then uh, look like they they look like they got two floats. Because the other float says Merry Team Automotive is driven by Mr. Kevin Scarborough. All right. So then they got another float behind them saying Merry Christmas from Team. That's Team Industries. Oh, so it's a totally different group of people. Yeah. Team Industries is driven by Mr. Eric Jones. Right. Which is also called Team Incredibles. Oh, wow. What a good, uh, what a good slogan. And then the next is uh, the state farm agent here in the city. Which the parade will be passing right in front of her office, Miss uh, Casey Grange. Ah. Yep. Casey Grange, State Farm. Uh, she's a State Farm agent here in town. And the parade, like I said, the parade will pass right in front of her office, right next to the Starlight Cafe. Looks like the Plug In Hair Lounge. Oh, yeah. The Plugged In Hair Lounge. 38. Plugged In Hair Lounge is driven by Mr. Darren McKay. All right. They got a good float. The name of their theme is Plugged In Saves Christmas. Oh, wow. And, and they located in Gonzales. Okay. Well, good deal. Who we got next? Have an incredible Christmas. What, uh, what float is that? I don't know, but they spent some time on that one. They did. They did. They really did a great job. Have an incredible Christmas. Yep. I wonder. I wish we knew what organization that was. I'm gonna tell you what. Uh, they spent they some did time a on that job, that. right? Look at the kids having fun out there, Todd. They are, man. They are having a great time. And then next up, 
Is just is that the Just Dance Company? Jetta Dance Company. Jetta Dance Company. Yep. And they are leaving leaving 29. their mark. Jetta Dance Company, driven by Mr. Kelly Feet. And uh, next up, following them, is the Gonzalez Middle School Band. Uh, middle School Band Cheer and Dan Dance Team. And then uh, following them is gonna be looks like A and M. I saw I saw him somewhere on your uh, on your list, your next float. But right now it's a Gonzalez Middle Band. And then after them is Mr. Adam Mansour with A and M. I think it's uh, right there. Number two, A and M Contracts and Roofing Company. Yeah, and Roofing Company. Driven by Mr. Chris Kelly. All right. We're still having a good time anyway, hey, Todd. And I tell you what, this this uh, float right here that we just looked at, Jesus is our superhero. Wow. Wow, that, that, that's that's what it's all about. Uh, you, yeah, I'm going to tell you what right there. That's Without a, Christ, there'd be no Christmas. You're right. So, yep. Well, look, this and, next and, crew, this next band, I got a lot to say about them. They gave me a good little write-up. Let's talk so, about it. Santa Mar High School Band, and I'm going to read what they wrote, right? Santa Mar High School Band is widely regarded as one of the largest and best bands in the state. The band has performed at Disney World, Universal Studios, Six Flags, and Carnegie Hall. The band has traveled to Washington, D.C., Italy, Ireland, Scotland, and many other places. This year, the Santa Mar Band was chosen to perform halftime for the New Orleans Saints Centennial Celebration Game against the Dallas Cowboys in primetime on NBC. Just last month, Santa Mar came out second in their class and was awarded the 5A state champion runner-up. The band would like to thank our incredible community for all the support through our flood recovery years. Merry Christmas to everyone from the Santa Mar High Band. They are reaching all the way around the corner, Todd. Right. <laughs> yeah. They've took so, up the whole street. The whole street corner, man. That is incredible. And they are... Santa Mar Band is followed by the good friends at Ascension Parish Library. I say that word wrong. I think it's is it library or library? I always say library. <laughs> <laughs> library. This is uh, the driver. That's outreach vehicle. Yeah, yeah. Their driver is uh, Mr. Chris Bourgeois. That's it. Look, I just got a text message in from uh, our good buddy Craig, St. Pierre DeLone's Grocery Store. Yeah, he yeah. wanted to tell everybody hi. He oh. provided the ingredients for the jambalaya over at Lede's Auto Sales. Hey, and thanks, Craig. Scott Ledette wanted to tell everybody hello, too. So. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. All right, it is Premier Lanes. All Premier right. Lanes Entertainment, driven by Mr. Elliot Trahan. And their theme is Sergeant Claus? Yes. Now, they did some work on that float, too. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot of work, man. We got some really nice floats coming up. Is that uh That's uh Premier Lanes? Maybe. We're not exactly yeah, yeah. sure. Premier Lanes, Sergeant Claus. Yes. And then following them, it looks like that's the Prairieville Middle School Band. The Panther Band Cheerleaders and Pantherettes. Prairieville Middle School is proud to present its 2019 Panther Band Cheerleaders and Pantherettes. Prairieville Middle School is widely known for its excellent academics and has the top school performance score for all nine select schools in the state. The school is under the leadership of Principal Dina Davis and Assistant Mr. Matt. Superior rated band is under the direction of Mr. Bill Bebe. Happy holidays and we wish you a very Merry Christmas. And the next one looks like it's our friends at Cricket Wireless. which is 21. Cricket Wireless is driven by Mr. Alex Jerome Bonner. And they got Batman deals. Batman deals. For sure. Now to go back to Chachi's, the Doo-Wop Beauty Shop Doo is driven Beauty Shop. It's driven by Mr. Camille Harry. Camille Harry and the Doo-Wop Shop followed by a Central Middle School Band. So that's going to be the last of our bands there, Rodney. That's uh, They got a pretty good crowd out there, too. They do. They do. 
pretty, ta pretty talented group of kids we got coming up. Looks like we're getting close to the end there, Rodney. Uh, we could be getting towards Santa Claus. I see some uh, lights flashing in the back. Well, around the corner, I see the, I see the police cars, you know, uh, around the corner. So we're getting close to the end. So the Central Middle School Band is who we're looking at. And then they are followed by, looks like Oak, somebody with Oak Grove. and then I want to say it's the Oak Grove 4-H Club. Yep, it's going to be the Oak Grove 4-H Club. Following the Central Band that's passing us by right now. And then we got the Oak Grove Primary 4-H Club. And uh, they use the, oh, there you go. There's your 4-H's. Hands, heart, head, and health. There we go. And what you said, happiness? Well, that should be part yeah, of I'm it. Yeah, that may be the 5-H. Yeah. Uh, we should start that. Yeah. Yep. So the 4-H's are hands, heart, head, and health. There'll be a test later. I probably won't make it. <laughs> and look who we got following them is the Coca-Cola Santa Claus truck. I believe Coca-Cola may have sponsored some of this parade. They may have. That's a big truck. That's a big truck, the Coke truck. Followed by. You think they throw in uh, Sprite and Diet Cokes out? I don't know, man. I don't know, but I sure could use one. Me too. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola, man, they are a big sponsor. They're in all the parades. And they are followed by some of the good members of the Confusion Incorporated, otherwise known as JFA, Jambalaya Festival Association. And who is behind them? Old St. Nick. Old St. Nick. Santa Claus. Won't be long. He'll be uh, sliding down some chimneys. Yep. Hopefully he'll be sliding down mine. Now, that's the Santa Express there. Santa Express, Coca-Cola 18-wheeler, followed by some of the fine folk, Miss Tammy Gilry with the Jambalaya Festival Association. Looks like we got Daryl Ward on a motorcycle, a motorized bicycle. And then they are followed by the J. Jambalaya Festival Association booth with Santa Claus on it. I wonder if Mr. Wally Italian's in there. He might be. No, probably Wally's probably back at the back, back getting everything ready for the cleanup. Gotcha, gotcha. He yeah. did the cooking all day. He cooked all day, been up all morning, had hamburgers, jambalaya, all that. But look at Santa Claus. He's got Mrs. Claus with him. Right, he does. I wonder if Rudolph's on there too. I don't know. I see him. He's in I the front. Rudolph is? Yeah, I see him. I wonder if the Jambalaya Festival champion is in there. Can you name Dasher and Dancer and Prancer? And no, I know Rudolph. That's one but everybody we always knows. had a Cajun night before Christmas, so it was <laughs> all of the alligators. You remember that? Yeah. And, and all them, you know? Yeah. So, all right, well, there's Brigitte following them in her uh, cart. So that's it, man. What'd you think? I think it's uh, about the best parade I've ever been to, Todd. Really? I had a good time. I had a great time with you, for sure. Yeah. Uh, yep. Well, good deal, man. One more year, one more in the bag. Want to thank thank everybody to help us out. Yeah. And I tell you what, uh, as the kids are walking away right here, everybody's got candy. Everybody's having a good time. The parade's closing. Uh, what's better than uh, the weather we had today? Perfect. Not your traditional Christmas weather, but the way we like it here in South Louisiana. Short sleeves at Christmas. Man, where'd you get those Mr. Pates from? There's the New Hunt and Fishing Store. New Hunt and Fishing Store? New Hunt and Fishing Store? New Hunt and Fishing Store? Yeah, on Highway 44 in Gonzales. It's Ascension Living and Outdoors. They carry a full line of fresh and saltwater baits and tackle, including Matrix, Voodoo Shrimp, Missile, Zoom, and local baits like Delta Lures and Humdinger. And the hunting section is loaded with calls, scents, knives, attractants, and much more. They even carry deer candy and Nate's buck bait. Oh yeah, ladies, there's even a gift shop. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life-threatening illness. 
Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com. Whiskey River, take my mind. Don't let a memory torture me. Fred's Bar on the River has something for everyone. Open seven days a week. Football on the big screen TV, pool tables, golf, darts, and the new boat launch bar. Ladies night on Wednesdays. Thursdays is open mic night. Karaoke on Fridays with DJ Rocky. Live bands on Saturday and Sundays. The Giant River Bar is air conditioned and ready to book your company's events or your Christmas parties. Come out and enjoy a good time on the river. Hey y'all, it's Mallory Langlois and I'm your 2019-2020 South Louisiana Crawfish Bowl Queen. I wanted to invite all of y'all out to my festival on April 25th at the Lamar Dixon Expo Center from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. It's going to be a whole day of food, fun, music, and more with activities for all ages. So bring the whole family and come on out and hang out with me on April 25th at the Lamar Dixon Expo Center. All right, y'all. Had a good time today, Todd. How about you? Another good, another good Christmas parade. Another one done. You know, need to got a couple of improvements we need to work on for next year. But hey, well, I'm just happy to be able to do it. I am too. Let's talk about our sponsors first. Talk about our sponsors. We want to thank our friends at Preferred Loans, Shanna Babin. Give them a call, 225-644-0304. You're a little short on money for Christmas time. They can definitely help you out. All right, Kim Landry, attorney at law. Um, She's a great attorney. Hopefully you never need one. If you need to get a hold of Kim, call at the office, 225-644-6100. Kim Landry, attorney at law. You need something hauled, you need something moved, truck, Martine, generation four, fourth generation trucking, 225-323-4884. Give them a call. And I guess our, man. our man, I guess he'd be our title sponsor. We we'll give him so. the title. The Grand Marshal of the Parade, A Hero's Christmas, James E. LeBlanc Constable, also LeBlanc's Auto Title and Notary Company, right here, right around the corner, 225-644-4591. They make your driver's license, whatever you need, Rodney, right there, LeBlanc's Auto Title. James LeBlanc, Grand Marshal of the Christmas Parade, A Hero's Christmas. I don't know about everybody or all the people that was out here. I had a fun time. Yeah, I had a pretty good time myself. And I want to thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking.